Hey guys, welcome back to Al's Nest Woodcraft. Uh, we're out in the shop tonight. We're working on a set of cornhole boards for a customer uh, that has ordered them for Christmas. And so uh, uh, cornhole boards are a pretty simple project to make. It's definitely something that you can do uh, with your kids or, or uh, someone else that's, a, that's an uh, amateur uh, at woodworking. Uh, but one of the things that uh, I'm trying to do is, is develop a, a little bit of a system for doing the uh, legs. And so uh, I'm going to walk you through how to do that. And uh, so stay tuned. All right, in this project, I'm using one by fours, and these are actually scrap one by fours. I had some cutoffs uh, from another project, and I've been uh, holding them back. And I just I knew I'd be using them for some type of project. And so uh, uh, here's that project tonight. And so I'm going to use this one by four, and I'm planning to round over the edge uh, so that it, when it uh, sits up into the into the cornhole board, it can hinge back and forth. And so I'll do that round over cut, and then I'm going to come back down into here and create a rabbit uh, with a piece of plywood uh, so that it adds some strength and stability uh, going left to right. And so I'll show you how we're going to do that. So I'm going to use just the end of this uh, uh, container, uh, this, uh, and, and I'm just going to do a little trace of the circle now a lot of folks will have a compass or something like that uh, you can use anything that's round uh, to make the uh, circumference that goes on this wood uh, and so then we'll go from there next i'm going to use my jigsaw making sure that it's flat on the wood and then i'm just going to trace the outline <laughs> Next thing I'll do is I'll bring in my uh, sander and just uh, hit this with a sander and, and make sure that it's good and smooth all the way around. All right, we're going to start by measuring down an inch and a half. We have that there. Then we're going to measure right in the center. It should be about an inch and five eighths. So that's 10 sixteenths. So it should be about right there. I'll bring that in here. I'll go back and measure the other way to just make sure that it's right in the center. It's less than a sixteenth off. I'll pull this over like this. All right, one of the things that we're going to be doing is using our miter saw. Uh, I have a, a, a DeWalt uh, rail saw here, and it's a combination miter saw on a rail. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, there's actually a stop that you can uh, set right here uh, to make sure that you only go a certain depth. And so we're going to be adjusting that so that uh, we can carve out this rabbit and so I've kind of got the uh, sacrificial piece right here uh, to uh, mark so that we can set our saw uh, and cut the rabbit. And so I'll do a test cut first on this end uh, because these are all longer than they need to be. And so we'll do a test cut down here first and then we'll move into uh, uh, cutting the rest of the rabbit. In order to adjust your saw so that you can do that, it's got this little trigger uh, right here, this little stop that you can put into place. And then it has this adjustable um, edge right here that you can use. And so I'm going to loosen the wing nut. Uh, and then I'm just going to start extending that out. And so I'm going to come down. Still not far enough. Okay, now I'm above where I need to be. And I'm going to just adjust this down. I believe right there is where I need to be to
do our test fit. It's going to be just perfect, uh, the right height uh, for what we need. Now I'll take it back over to the miter saw. Now that I've got the rabbit cut and uh, they're all at the same height, I can clean these up uh, now with a chisel or some sandpaper uh, to make sure that it's a smooth and a great contact uh, for when we glue our um, cross, uh, cross brace in. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a countersink bit and uh, make some holes here in our cross brace uh, so that we can uh, screw that uh, right to our leg. I'm just doing a test fit right now. I'm gonna come back uh, here in just a, a, a few minutes after we get to have this uh, uh, set up. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it together, um, but I still have to cut the angle off uh, on the legs, and so I don't wanna glue it just yet, uh, but I am gonna test, uh, test fit it up. I'm going to go ahead and screw it uh, so that it, uh, uh, it it's uh, joined to the legs, and then we're gonna put it on our cornhole board uh, and see where we need to cut our legs off. All right, now that we've got our leg system built, uh, it's time to attach it to the uh, cornhole board. And so I've cut a one inch block uh, that I'm gonna put in here. And I'm just gonna push this up right like that so that I hold this leg system off one inch okay once i do that i'm going to just clamp this in place okay Hold on. all right now that i've got it clamped i've made sure that this uh this uh leg is flush with the bottom of the cornhole board remember i pre-drilled my hole in the leg and so now i'm going to use that hole to guide uh, to drill another hole to come outside of the uh, side of the cornhole board. I'm going to move my one inch block. Make sure you hold your drill straight. Come out the other side. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt this up. And so we're gonna use a carriage bolt in order to secure this to the, uh, to the leg, to the cornhole board. And so the carriage bolt kind of has this dome feature here. And then on the back side, it has this square nut uh, that uh, you can see right there. And so whenever we put that through the wood, it grips uh, there at, the, uh, at that square part. So whenever I put this through, I'm just gonna stick it through just a little bit, enough to put this washer on. I'm gonna pull it back. This is a pretty tight fit. Now that I have that, I'd put this other washer on. I probably need to grab my hammer. And I'll just take my hammer and I'll seat this 
into the wood. I'll take my other washer, and then I have a nut that'll go on. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, now that we've got the uh, cornhole board up here on the table, I've cut a one foot block and uh, uh, the regulation for the cornhole board height is one foot. And so I'm just gonna lift this up, push it toward the end of the table over there. I'm gonna put this one foot block underneath here so that it is off the table one foot. Then I'm gonna use this straight edge to extend out mark the angle and I'll do the same thing over here all right we took our leg system back off of the cornhole board uh, because remember, we were just doing a test fit. So uh, now I'm going to take this back apart. Now I've got it marked where I need to cut. And so we'll go over to the miter saw and make that cut. Now that we have the ankles cut on our legs, uh, we can assemble them back onto the uh, to the board. Uh, since we have everything off the board now, we can go ahead and put these on here. We don't have to uh, have it uh, the cross brace put in there just yet. So we'll go ahead and fit these up. Put my other washer with the nut. Okay, I'll move to the other side. That in there. My washer. My leg. My other washer. Seat that just a little bit more. Now, <clears throat> we've got our piece here, our cross brace that can go back in there. But what were we going to do? We're going to put a little glue on it, okay? So before I do that, I'm going to lay this back up on the, up on the table. I'm just using a uh, Gorilla Glue. It's a wood glue. Uh, I use different types of glue uh, all the time. Oftentimes I use tight bond, uh, but uh, the last time I went to the store, I uh, happened to get Gorilla Glue. And so that's just what I'm using. You can use whatever brand you prefer. All right, that concludes our process on how to build the legs. Uh, for this cornhole board. Again, this is a pretty simple project and something that I hope that you will involve some other family members uh, with in doing it. Uh, get your kids in the shop and teach them uh, some skills to use their hands uh, and off of those video games. So uh, next time, uh, we hope to see you back here at Owl's Nest Woodcraft.